Hello, so good to be with you as always. We go to the 32nd Sunday in uh, Ordinary Time. I'm trying to get rid of this one pop off, pop on. There we go. Um, and we start off with uh, the first reading, the first book of Kings, chapter 17, verses 10 to 16. What a heart-wrenching account. Just now I was, she says, just now I was collecting a couple of sticks to go in and prepare something for myself and my son. When we have eaten, we shall die. Elijah was able to bring the life-sustaining power of God to this poor woman and saying, for the Lord, the God of Israel says, the jar of flour shall not go empty, nor the jug of oil run dry until the day when the Lord sends rain upon the earth. The Lord provided in her dire need. In Luke chapter 1, verses 53, Mary, the mother of Jesus, says, The hungry he has filled with good things, the rich he has sent empty away. And going on to the third reading, Mark, chapter 12, verses 38 to 44. Jesus calling his disciples to himself, saying, This poor widow put in more than all the other contributors to the treasury, for they have all contributed from their surplus wealth. But she, from her poverty, has contributed all she had with her livelihood. God judges us individually on how on how much we do with our, with how much we have. Judgment is not based on a competition, one against the other, but rather on our own individual effort. When we are giving to God, we are on, we only give what God has given us. He knows well what we're capable of. God is, is perfectly just, true to himself as a loving father, loving each of us, his children, each of his children fairly. He also condemns the, scri the scribes because they're only working for their self-interest and esteem. They will receive a very severe judgment and condemnation. This Sunday Psalm 146 says, the fatherless and the widow he sustains, but the way of the wicked he thwarts. In the second reading, chapter 9, verses 24 to 28, Christ, who died for our benefit on the cross, ascends to heaven to appear before God on our behalf. In John 14, verse 6, Jesus said, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Infinitely superior to the priest of the Old Testament, he had to offer who had to offer sacrifices continuously, Christ offers himself only once on the cross to take away the sins of many. He will come a second time, not to take away sins, but to bring salvation to those who eagerly await him. Christ suffered and died so that we may be his holy people, sinners made by the Lord into saints, prepared to enter heaven to adore him forever. Looking forward, along with so many of you, to that day.